Hello, I'm Jason Miller with AspenNow Solutions, where we aim to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to take a second here and thank all my subscribers. We're up to 123. Uh, my goal is to reach 1,000 by March. I mentioned that in another video last week. I'm hoping that you can help me out. Um, one thing I have developed, and I kind of wanted to show off, were the playlists here. So I started grouping the videos um, into different, I guess, topics, if you will, for ServiceNow. So we have our SLA videos, and now we have Kingston. Some of them overlap, so you will see an SLA video if it pertains to both Kingston um, and SLAs, then I'll have them in both. So I just wanted to show that off. This is who I am. I'm on LinkedIn. If you want to connect with me uh, right now, I'm uh, in transition. So uh, if any of you guys out there are looking for a ServiceNow expert to come on board, I am available. Uh, moving on, I did create a Facebook page also. Uh, I'm not sure how many people are looking for technical solutions on Facebook, but I thought it would be a uh, pretty good exposure. Uh, one thing I want to note here is that I do have a subscribe link um, here on the Facebook page also. So let's get to today's topic, schedule jobs. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm a CIO, I get a million emails from the ServiceNow instance with reports in them. I would like to have just one email with several reports. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So, um, first, to get to schedule jobs, we're gonna type in Ed Joe in the filter navigator, right here. All right, there's Ed Joe, and then we're gonna go to schedule jobs in system definition. Just chugging away nicely there, isn't it? Now I'm going to show you Jason's report. This is the one that I created. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit execute now, and I'm going to let what this is doing is it's sending, it's executing the job now, so it's going to send the report uh, to my email, and I'm going to show you what the contents are in just a second. So uh, let's see here. Kind of a lot going on. Um, we have here the name. Then you have to search for the report name that you want. And remember, the CIO wants more than one report. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, here are the users that they're going to. Um, and then if you wanted to, if you had like external customers or people that aren't in your database, um, if you want to send it to an email address, you could do that right here. Um, let's see here. Make sure it's active. Application scope is important. Um, and this is telling it when to run. If we want to do like periodically or something like that, we could do it every 14 days or let's just say every five days and then it would start, um, you know, whenever we designate it on the calendar. So I don't know, maybe I'll set it up for tomorrow. Uh, something like that, or, or excuse me, uh, that's today. Uh, let's do 30th maybe, I don't know. If we wanted to make it conditional and script it out, we could do that. We just click on this box and then you can script away right here. I'll leave that uh, to all you super coders out there. Uh, I try to do low code or no code solutions. Um, let's see here, omit if no record. So basically what this is telling the instance to do is when the reports run, if there aren't any records, then don't send anything. So that's what this does right here. So if you check the box, no, no big deal. The only thing is, is that um, if you're running a bunch of reports, um, then you know, you you might get a question of like why one is quote unquote missing. So, um, and then down here uh, we see uh, obviously we have our subject introductory message. Uh, this is all pretty standard stuff. Um, we could do a different type if we want to. We could do PDF landscape, PDF PNG. ServiceNow does a pretty good job of uh, having these different types in here. And also we could zip the output if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to. I just want to show the reports um, as they look in the email. Um, when, when it is delivered to me in just a second. Um, then we're going to have this include with. So you'll notice down here we have a related list and we have three reports in here. So I'm going to show you basically how to set one of these up um, and we're going to include it in the email. So um, wants me to save this. All right, I guess I'll save it. So let's save that. And one other thing I wanted to note before um, before we get to that is that in reports, when you go to reports, remember the forward slash trick I taught you in the other video, just hit space, forward slash, and then view run comes up for reports. If you wanted to, you could go into uh, one of these reports, I don't know, SLA, average time, 
this one's already scheduled, so uh, let's see. It's going to be a little icon right here uh, as soon as it comes up, whenever that is. So right here, if we wanted to, we could schedule it. This will pull up basically the same screen. So you could do it from here if you want to, um, but generally this is probably a little bit um, of more sound approach for the CIO's issue that we're facing today. So included in email, what do we have here? Marketing events by city, scheduled executions of SLAs, blah, blah, blah. We have single score. Now we want to do a new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name it um, another SLA report. Stack one up. All right. Now we're just going to look for the report. And I don't know. I'm going to pick out open incidents by Simon. Fine. And then I'm going to submit it. It's going to be included there in Jason's report. Saw that at the bottom. Of course, oh, my lovely instance loves to act up. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go right here. And you'll see it. Yep, it appeared right there. Now, when we go back to Jason's report, let's take a look at our rela related list. Okay, so now we have four reports here. I'm going to execute this now. And let's take a look at my email to see if the other one came through with the three reports that I sent before. Uh, that looks like... <laughs> Looks like I was testing it a little bit there. So, oh, it looks like, here we go. By stage, marketing events, great. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so now we have a total of five coming to us. That's right, I made a mistake. I said four. Four is the old number because remember that uh, we had that one uh, with the, if I go to Jason's report, sorry for all the clicking, because we have this one right here, plus we're going to have four down here. So before we added this one, it was only uh, four, now it's five. So we'll see if the other one comes through. It looks like another one came through, let's see. And there we go, we have five attachments right there. So again, you know, this, this could be just a matter of style. If you prefer to send individual emails, that's fine. But if you ever have that requirement where you wanna get uh, more information into one email, um, then you know, this would be the way to, to, to solve that problem. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, again, my name is Jason Miller with Aspen Now Solutions and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Have a great day. Thank you.